Hey everyone, it's me, Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about, I want to come a little candid. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting on the floor in my bedroom. I want to come a little candid and talk about some of the struggles that I've been going through during this quarantine season. Um, and I, yeah, I, I know that someone else is possibly thinking the same things that I am. I just wanted to be a little candid uh, with some of the struggles that I've been dealing with concerning my lock journey and being inside. Um, as you guys know, when you're inside all the time, uh, your thoughts wander and you start to think things that you never thought before. <laughs> um, some things come to light and you become more creative. Well, some of us uh, tap into our creativity and for me, I mean, I've always been very um, comfortable being at home. I can become a homebody in the cooler seasons of the year when, you know, winter time. I don't mind being inside, but um, when I'm forced, being forced to stay indoors, even when the weather is picking up, like that's really hard for me. Because me, myself, I love the springtime. I love being outdoors and, you know, with people when the weather permits. But, you know, during this time, sitting inside and looking at my hair almost every day, I have come up with some thoughts that I want to share with you guys and let me know if you have also thought these things as well because I know I'm not alone in this <laughs> so I have them written down as usual so the first thing okay I already mentioned this in my community post but I want to reiterate the first thing I've been thinking of while in quarantine is how much who how much I want to grab a jug of conditioner and just pour it on my head and once and for all just just saturate my hair quench it and deal with the dryness once and for all but that's something that I cannot do with locks you know we cannot be just using thick conditioners on our hair and then expect for you know build up issues to not pop up because you guys know I've always been talking about how much I've been dealing with buildup and overcoming buildup. A lot of my journey is around buildup for some reason. So conditioner is just something that I tried one time, but I don't want to go into that too much. Um, I don't want to do it too much, pretty much. And I've just been dealing with dryness. I, and one of you guys asked, is it because of the hair color? It has a lot to do with the hair color. Because when you color, when you lift up the color in your hair, your hair becomes drier naturally. So I know that I wanted this hair color and I, I still love it, you know, and I'm still going to do my next hair color, but it's just frustrating how dry, how dry it is, like dry. I have to spritz my hair like three times a day in order for my hair to feel quenched. Um, and I know you guys have mentioned different recommendations and so forth. So I'm definitely going to take into consideration some of you guys recommendations because sis is struggling when it comes to moisturizing. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been fantasizing to just comb out my locks. Okay. Um, and dump a whole bunch of conditioner and run my fingers through my hair once and for all and feel how moisturized and quenched my curls feel um and like i met, just mentioned that's something else i've been thinking of like combing out my locks and restarting or combing out my locks and rediscovering my loose natural hair obviously i'm not gonna do that but it's definitely a thought that has been like like you know if, it, if this was the thought this is what it's doing to me <laughs> every day and um i think it's because i watch um loose natural videos mostly i love watching african hair god's live um live streams where he watches natural hair videos with his um audience i love watching those he's so funny um and while watching them it's like I'm, I'm it's like i'm opened up to a whole new world uh where i see you know loose natural hair being combed through i miss combing through my hair i miss 
running my fingers through my hair and you guys saw that I did my cousin's hair in the last video where I installed her starter locks um, and even doing that it's like I miss doing that I miss putting a bunch of products in my hair I miss doing that you know I know sometimes it doesn't take a whole lot to do a lot but I miss I miss washing my hair conditioning my hair doing the deep treatment rinsing it out knowing everything is going to come out it's not going to be lodged in my hair like my locks lodges things in there i miss following up with my little routine of products that i use like my leave-in conditioner my uh, shea butter my oils the loc or lco method i miss doing those things and just um loving on my curls that's just something that I've been thinking of. I, I miss doing that. I miss buying the lotions for my hair and kind of testing things out. Because you guys know I love to experiment. So, I mean, there's only but so much experimentation that I can do with my locks. But with loose natural hair, I can experiment a whole lot. I can experiment with the the hair lotions, the the hair masks. Like, I haven't done a hair mask in a while. Actually, I have not done one at all. <laughs> and with locks, I know I, I probably can't do that. There's just certain restrictions. Um, even though I love my locks, don't get me wrong, I love my locks. I um, am so excited for um, my lock journey and I do not regret starting my locks. But it's just sometimes, you know, the thoughts come in like you know I, I when you start to reminisce on the the old days you know you're inside all day first of all you're inside and for me I watch a lot of videos so come on like naturally you're going to start reminiscing and thinking and stuff like that listen I know a lot of you guys mentioned I don't do that that is not a struggle for me but for me I'm just being candid and honest something that I, I don't really hear a whole lot of like sometimes you just miss using the products the heavy conditioners the butters i miss putting butters in my hair i miss running that through my hair like i can't use butter in my hair because if i use butter it's going to become built up and it's going to be so hard to wash it out <sighs> okay i think i said everything already um but yeah uh, one thing that has been going on, like I mentioned just now, is that I've been watching a lot of videos. So, I've been watching a lot of videos, and most of these videos, like 99% of them, are not locked videos. They're more loose, natural hair videos. So, I, maybe that's something that I need to change. Like, watching more, you know, bringing more variation, more variety into my, um, my, my, my feed on YouTube so that I can stay motivated um, and inspired uh, I, I, I love loose natural hair and you know what another th thought that comes to mind is that I have not ever really fully discovered my loose natural hair because when I was loose natural I was just testing out a whole bunch of different things and never really concluded to one set routine never really discovered what truly works for my hair um because i did a lot of experimentation and never really nothing really stuck because my hair texture is just kind of different so um i never really truly i guess appreciated my curls and really learned it um and and understood it um I guess I got frustrated and put in locks and you know but even that it, it goes to show that even you know you just throwing in locks because you're frustrated with your hair doesn't fully resolve your natural hair woes um, like for me right now I kind of regret not fully discovering my natural hair texture and curls that's just some wanderings that I've been going through as far as my hair journey is concerned but Listen, I don't regret locking my hair. There's just certain things that happen when you're inside all day and you're trying your best to kind of keep up and find a new routine. But, I don't know, you, you're you also looking at other things. So, let me know what your struggles have been hair-wise, if you guys have any, if you've related to any 
of the the things that I mentioned on my list let me know down below and also subscribe because I will be uploading uh, content almost every day for you to stay motivated on your journey thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video